of um, symptoms of burnout. So I'm just going to whip through them and kind of um, relate to my own experience as we go through this. So feelings of chronic um, exhaustion. So I can say in 2018, two years ago, when I experienced um, burnout, I definitely felt um, very tired, lacking in motivation, um, and feeling very detached um, from the world and withdrawing from myself. Um, I was definitely, um, you know, really unproductive. Uh, and my productivity was right down. Um, I can definitely attest to feeling um, useless and uninspired, uh, basic, um, but basically like a failure, um, you know, without any um, recognition or acknowledgement of what I had achieved, even though um, obviously I had achieved things, but the burnout was making me feel like um, all that had gone past was invalid and basically um, useless uh, uh, rubbish. Um, your feelings are blunted um, and you feel tired and drained most of the time. I can definitely say I felt very, um, you know, sort of um, uninspired um, and my feelings were definitely, um, you know, I guess uh, extreme for me and extreme sort of um, low levels of energy um, and sort of um, negative um, feelings. And yes, for me, one of the symptoms that we're going to come on to um, in the next um slides is about um emotions like i said i felt a deep um sense of failure and self-doubt because of what uh, was a trigger to my own personal burnout was uh i was doing um, a startup which i really loved and was passionate about and very excited um, to do but uh it failed um you know it didn't work out basically um and i felt deeply upset by this um and it just made me doubt um, that I had the skills and capability uh, to rebuild myself as an entrepreneur. Um, I felt helpless. I felt trapped, defeated. Um, and I definitely felt a decreased sense of um, a lack of accomplishment because I put my heart and soul into this uh, venture um, for it to sort of, I guess, uh, crash and burn and for me to burn out. I was something that I never expected in a million um, years. Uh, but actually, you know, Although it was a painful experience, um, it led to, I guess, for me, what I'm going to call the phoenix rising out of the ashes um, and to a start realization that as much as I really enjoyed doing you know, tech startups and being in that space, what I was actually passionate about was coaching and mentoring. Uh, and here I am today, um, you know, facing up to my fears uh, and putting myself out there and getting over that imposter syndrome. So um, that's, um, you know, a quick sweep of um, emotional signs of burnout. So physical signs of burnout um, can include changes in appetite and sleep habits. Um, I definitely found that I was sleeping a lot more than I normally do. Uh, I'm sort of an energetic uh, person and an uh, early riser. I like to rise and um, be very active. Um, and when I was experiencing burnout, I was sleeping a lot more than normal. Uh, because I simply was feeling um, lethargic um, and you know, have feelings of, of, of you know, anxiousness um, and depression, which didn't make me want to um, rise. Um, you know, lowered immunity and frequent illness um, can also be um, a sign uh, to, um, you know, when you're feeling sort of, uh, you know, in a negative um, state of mind, but also having all these other um, emotions and feelings, um, it can sometimes lead to illnesses. Like for me, um, we're, we're talking about frequent aches and pains. Um, I did have signs of like headaches um, and I guess what I'd call a brain fog. And as I said, it's a very um, personal experience for everybody, but these are some of the common um, signs. So behavioral signs, uh, withdrawing from responsibilities. I can definitely tell you um, I withdrew from my uh, responsibilities. Um, and one such example, is as you can imagine that well actually um, I just for context I am a wife um, and a daughter uh, and one of the things I'm really hot on um, as you can imagine would be birthdays and Christmases and getting um, you know cards sent out to relatives for birthdays um, and you know uh, thank yous um, and Christmas um, and the year that I experienced um, severe burnout it was a year that nobody got a Christmas card. <laughs> Uh, so something was clearly wrong. Um, something was very wrong um, for me not to be able to to muster up the um, 
organization and the, the strength to send out those cards and make my husband um, do it with me. Um, social isolation and withdrawing into your head. You know, I definitely relate to that. And um, unusual behaviors, you know, it might be like you go absent um, from work um, or you leave work early or you have different kinds of um, cycles of work that you don't normally um, do when you're in a, an out and normal, um, you know, rhythm. So before we go on to the seven uh, secrets of um, burnout, does anyone have any uh, reflections or 